Minister, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, you must be absolutely thrilled. A great start to EDIPEC 2015. Really, bring us through the day. Well, uh, we are so uh, proud of the growth of, of EDIPEC. Everyone was skeptical about this year. It's a low oil prices. Companies may not be committed. But what we saw uh, is, is a great commitment from the, from the sponsors, from the companies, from the crowd. Uh, I think this is, uh, this is a remarkable year where the number of exhibitors uh, reached 2,050 and we surpassed by that number uh, OTC this year. So it's a great achievement and I would like to congratulate uh, the leadership here in UAE for their support and uh, to, uh, for ADNOC as well to achieve such a remarkable uh, number. It's really been a huge team effort. I've seen all the people that put the work into this and, you know, with your ministry, of course, and everybody else too, you must be very proud to look at what's going on here and really deliver a world-class conference and exhibition. That is true. And what's important for us is the conference. What's important for us, we are at a, a low cycle. And it's important that the industry people, the private sector and the government, and the contractors, the IOCs, the NOCs, they talk together. We are in this together. If there is a pain, we need to share it. And we need to reduce cost through efficiency, through the use of technology. And that's the theme of this conf the conference this year, is the use of technology to lead to, techno to, to uh, advancement in, in uh, reducing the cost and optimizing the, uh, the operations. And again, it's all to, to, you talked about innovation and also building efficiency into this. It's really time that people, I think, stand back, look at their books, look at their business and maybe, maybe have some new change in thinking as well. I think, I think that's true. And we have seen that work done from the beginning of the year, 2015 until now, we have seen a reduction uh, in, in, in the various sectors of the business and we are proud of what has been achieved, but we want to tell them we need to do more until this cycle is over. We need to do more and we can, we can get out of this cycle stronger. Now, a few other additions to um, ADIPEC this year. You have the Maritime Show, which is just looking wonderful, and a lot of people are interested in that. How important is that to combine you know, with ADIPEC and with the oil and gas side to bring you know, the, the players into it from the maritime sector? I think it's very important that we expand and we bring in new ideas every year. Bringing the maritime this year is going to open up an opportunity for, for the, uh, the, the, the NOCs here and the IOCs to tap into, into some of the new advancement in the maritime. How, did, how can they contribute to reducing the cost? What are the major issues that they are facing? and sharing that in a discussion and, and exhibiting some of the latest technologies used I think is going to help the, the overall cause which is uh, increasing efficiency and the, integ the whole integration of this industry together. And we're seeing um, great interest from many of the companies in young EDIPEC too. How are you encouraged to see many of the young players and we've been over at their stand, that's growing every year and really everybody's getting involved in it and all the kids are there really been busy too. I think it's, this is an important thing that we started doing because we need the next generation to be motivated to like to work for this industry. And we cannot do that if we don't engage with them and allow them to lead in, the, in their own thinking how they want to contribute to this industry. What are the major challenges in recruiting the, the individual and, and replacing the older generation with the newer generation who need to be motivated to innovate because we cannot just do the things as we need to do. We need a cleaner uh, forms of, uh, of oil and gas. We need the decarbonization, some more projects. We need to think in a holistic way about the environment, productivity, cost cutting and all of these things together. And we can only do that through innovation and through the engagement with the young generation. And just the awards tonight, um, there was a tremendous show here and again tremendous talent that we saw on display. How important have the awards? They've really risen in terms of the stature of the awards and of course the quality and quantity of submissions every year. I think uh, it's a rigorous uh, process as you have seen it and as they explain it every year. 
uh, we want this competition toward excellence to continue every year we are adding categories to incentivize and to make people compete to to deliver the best value for this industry to move to the next stage the challenges are growing day after day the easy oil is gone we are now faced with more challenging uh, resources we need to be wise and we need to be efficient and we need to drive this competition in the various sectors of the business the various projects hsc uh, and women as well and, and this year also we had the women uh, adepec and all of these things are enhancing the uh, the efforts to achieve that target so i'm sure you and uh, all of your team at the ministry would wish them all well to all of the contenders yes so we are and, and i think all of them just being a finalist they are winners to us so all of those uh, who did not stand and collect a prize i think they are all winners in my view to just reach that category of being a finalist i think that's by itself a challenge and that's that's a, a, a worth uh, rewarding so you have a busy few days ahead um we're going to let you go and wish you good luck on that but how are the next few days have you a lot of conferences a lot of ceos still in town a lot of visitors to meet yes uh, more ministers are some of the ministers are coming tonight uh, we have uh, his excellency al badri uh, the secretary general of opec is coming we're going to have uh, another ministerial session tomorrow that i will uh, have the pleasure to facilitate and ADEPEC will continue and, and the more thinking and more uh, uh, deliberation is going to be there and we are hoping that everyone comes here, enjoys it and come again next year.